Hey everyone, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. In this video, we're going to be making this cute little fox. I've made him in orange, but he would also look super cute in grey. First you'll need some chunky or super chunky plush yarn, in orange for the body, and then in white for the paws, tail and snout. We'll also be using some medium weight yarn in black for the eyebrows and nose, and in white for behind the eyes. Other items we'll be using are a USG crochet hook or a hook to match the yarn you're using. Polyfill, safety eyes, scissors, a yarn needle, and for this pattern I recommend having stitch markers as well as pins. The stitches you need to know beforehand are magic ring, single crochet, slip stitch, chain stitch, increase and decrease. We're going to start at the bottom of the legs and work up. Using white yarn, in round 1 it's 6 single crochet in a magic ring. I'll put my full tutorial for how I like to do the magic ring at the top of the video. Pull the ring tight. And as always, I'll be using a stitch marker in the last stitch of each round. In round 2, we're doing 2 single crochet into each stitch from round 1. This means we're doing 6 increases, which brings us up to 12 stitches in round 2. In round 3, we do 3 single crochet, and then an increase, and we do all of that 3 times in total, which brings us up to 15 stitches in round 3. Just stop before the last stitch in round 3, because we're going to do a color change. So here is my last stitch of round 3 and I'm stopping before pulling through the final loop. To do the colour change, I first like to twist the old colour over the new colour before bringing through the new colour. But you can do the colour change however you like. Now we're going to do 4 rounds of just 15 single crochet around, so that's rounds 4 to 7. Now for the first leg only, after round 7, we can close with a slip stitch. And I'm going to add the marker to this stitch. Then we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a little bit of a tail. Now you can crochet the second leg exactly the same way as the first, but without closing with a slip stitch or cutting the yarn. So here is the second leg, 
and after round seven we're going to chain three now we're going to join it to the first leg and I like to join it just after that last slip stitch that's over here and we join it with one single crochet and I'll be adding another marker to this stitch because it's the first stitch of round one of the belly. So we've already done the first stitch of round one of the belly and now we're going to do a further 14 single crochet on the first leg. Here's the last single crochet on the first leg, which is into that slip stitch. Now we're going to crochet into that chain that we used to join the legs. And we're doing one single crochet into each of the three chain stitches. Now we're going to move over to the second leg and we're doing 15 single crochet. And here's the last of the 15 single crochet into that last stitch of the second leg. Now we're going to finish round one by doing one single crochet into each of those three chain stitches. We should land up just before that marked stitch that we used to join the legs. We've just finished round one, so I'm going to add a marker. The first stitch of round two is going into that marked stitch that joined the legs. And in round two it's five single crochet and then an increase. We do that all six times to bring us up to 42 stitches in round two. Now there will be some gaps from where we joined the legs. And we're going to close them using the tail from the end of the first leg. Just go over the first hole and then weave through to the other side and go over the second one. Now we're doing five rounds of just 42 single crochet around. So that's rounds three to seven. And I'll do these five rounds off camera. In round eight, we're going to start decreasing. So we start with five single crochet. And then we do a decrease, and I like to do the invisible decrease like so. And we do all of that six times in total to bring us to 36 stitches in round eight. Round 9 is just 36 single crochet around, and I'll do this round off camera. 
In round 10, we continue decreasing. So we start with four single crochet and then do a decrease. We do all of that six times to bring us down to 30 stitches. Round 11 is just 30 single crochet around and I'll finish off this round off camera. Now we can add stuffing to the legs. Make sure to get stuffing all the way down to the bottom of the legs. In round 12 it's 3 single crochet and then a decrease. We do that six times to get 24. In round 13, it's two single crochet and then a decrease. We do that six times to get 18. Now we can add stuffing to the top of the body. In round 14, it's a single crochet followed by a decrease. We do that six times to bring us down to 12 stitches for round 14. Just stop before you do the last stitch of the round because we're going to do a color change. Here's the last stitch of round 14. And I'm not pulling through the final loop because we're going to change to white. In round 15, we do 12 single crochet around. In round 16, we're doing two single crochet into each stitch from round 15. This means we're doing 12 increases, which brings us up to 24 stitches for the round. In round 17, we do a single crochet and then an increase. And we do all of that 12 times to bring us up to 36. In round 18, it's five single crochet followed by an increase. We do that all six times to get 42. In round 19, it's six single crochet and then an increase. We do that six times to get 48. Thank you. 
Now we're going to do two rounds of 48 single crochet around. But stop before you do the last stitch of round 21 because we're going to change back to orange. So here's the last stitch of round 21 and we're going to change to orange. In rounds 22 to 24, so that's 3 rounds, it's just 48 single crochet around. And I'll do these 3 rounds off camera. In round 25 we're going to start decreasing again. So it's 6 single crochet, followed by a decrease, and we do that 6 times to get 42. In round 26 it's 5 single crochet followed by a decrease. We do that 6 times to get 36. Now we're going to attach the eyes and they go between rounds 22 and 23, so that's over here. And about 8 stitches apart. Just make sure the color changes are at the back. Once you're happy with the placement you can attach the backs. In round 27 it's 4 single crochet followed by a decrease. We do that 6 times to get 30. In round 28 it's 3 single crochet followed by a decrease and we do all of that 6 times to get 24. In round 29 it's 2 single crochet and then a decrease and we do that 6 times to get 18. Now we can stuff the neck and the head. Make sure to get stuffing firmly into the neck so that the head doesn't wobble. In round 30 it's a single crochet followed by a decrease and we do that 6 times to get 12. You can add more stuffing after round 30 if you like. In round 31 it's 6 decreases. This means we're going down from 12 stitches to 6. Then we can close and cut the yarn leaving a bit of a tail for sewing that hole closed. To close the hole go through the front loops of the last 6 stitches.
Then pull on the yarn to close the hole. And insert the yarn into the piece into a few different places to secure it. And that is the body and head completed. Thanks for watching part 1 of the Fox tutorial. The link to part 2 will be in the description box.